Hey everybody, and welcome back to Embird. My name is Sue from OML Embroidery, and today we're going to be talking about the font engine and working with true type fonts. And uh, in general, I think it works really well. You just have to be careful with what fonts you're using. So for example, uh, making them small, uh, small lettering in embroidery is very difficult to do. And I would be really careful uh, checking and looking at the embroidery that because it's auto digitized so you have to just kind of you know do your own work on it now this font this is a font that I picked and the true type fonts are the fonts on your computer so again they are auto digitized now Ember does an absolutely fantastic job of it it looks pretty good um, when you go to 3d I mean, I can see some errors in it. You could fix it up a little bit and change the angles. But what I'm talking about is, for example, the D. This isn't quite how it should be. See how they're all slanted? It would stitch out and be okay, but I'm really particular about lettering. So I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't use it on anything. See, the M is kind of messed up here and this is the wrong angle this i don't know what's going on this is satin stitches all the way down so my only suggestion see it looks different when you pull it away it's not very straight uh, my only suggestion is to really look at them before you use them now let's compare that to a built-in font um, again, I'm just, you know, pointing these things out. I have found some TTF fonts from the font engine that work fantastic. I'm just showing you the bad ones so you know what to look for. So let's look at this one, embroidery. Let's look at this one and let's generate it. And just to show you the difference, now that's much smaller. So let's make it a little bit bigger, pull it out, make it a little bit better, and then generate it. And to me, this one looks a lot better. Now it was, again, digitized for embroidery. I mean, this is a special kind of font. Maybe it's actually supposed to look like that and you like it. If you like it, then use it. That's all I'm saying. But if you notice here, all the angles are nice and even and they're done properly and see the difference between the M's. Again, I know it's a funny font, but it's all neat and tidy and the connections are nice. These ones aren't too bad. Um, but to me, this looks neater and tidier. And when you're going small, let's uh, let's group this one, select it all, and look at this small. And it it's kind of not good. Yeah, see, it won't go small. But you know what? It's really hard doing small lettering. That's not too bad. I'd probably like it a little bit better small than big. So when you're picking a true type font, there's a few things to look for. You can try whatever true type font you want. Um, but I would look for angles in the satin stitches. Now you can edit them. You can do something like, for example, the O. Let's right click it. Let's go to the parameters. Let's put it to plain fill because it's getting kind of big. And let's just see if that fixes it a little bit. Um, no, it doesn't. So I would say no to that. Sometimes it works and sometimes you can't see the angles, but this is a problem and this doesn't look right. So no for that one. Um, it gives it a different look, so I guess you're okay. But what you're looking for is angles, um, the way, the widths and everything. And like this angle, I don't like. It wouldn't look, it would also pull quite a bit. Um, you can try changing the fill like I did. Sometimes that helps. You can try moving the size because maybe this one has a really good look at, you know, a medium size or smaller than we had it, or larger than we had it. So you can play around with size. Um, see how the O, oh, see how that's a problem there? And that's because we changed it. And yeah, you really wouldn't want to stitch that out. So let's move that back to all auto column. And that looks better. See, now the O looks better at this size. Actually, a lot of them do. This isn't too bad. So you can see, you can make it better. But if you're picking, um, 
you know, fonts that have void areas in the letters, that's really not going to work very well. You can, however, I've done it and it was fantastic, make them really large and change it to the fill stitch, but it's not going to work on satin stitches. So just kind of be careful what you're doing and kind of look and, and try to get the best look that you can. Um, font Engine is a resource, like there's so, look at all the fonts I have on my computer. I have tons of them. Look at all this. These are all built in. I do Photoshop quite a bit, so I have tons of fonts from there. And you can really get fancy with them. Just make sure the thicker ones like this would look much better than a thin one. I had pulled up a really thin one and I went, ooh, because it doesn't really know. It's trying to make a satin stitch on it, but the satin stitch, I think it's up here. It was yeah, right here, let's do this one. So let's do OML embroidery. You know, it looks cute like this, but wow, look at those satin stitches. That's not gonna stitch out very nice. Now, mind you, that is a small font. It would actually look pretty cool with, say, a running stitch, but if you move this around and play around with it, yeah, see what happens? That makes a mess because it's still trying to do a satin stitch and it shouldn't be and it won't even stitch out some of it. I mean, mind you, it's really small. So just kind of play around with it a little bit and do test stitch it because you don't really know how it's going to work. Um, it might suit your needs. It might not. But test around. Fatter ones, thicker ones will work better than the thinner ones and uh, but you can get a good look out of it so that's the difference between built-in fonts that are designed and digitized specifically for embroidery versus the font engine which gives you tons of fonts but they all won't necessarily work depending on the size and depending on the look so you can decide for yourself make sure you test out a true type font no matter what and see what you think you can tweak them you can change the size and maybe you'll get a good look so thanks everyone for watching don't forget to like this video share this video in all of the ember groups so People can like and share, and I will know that this is what you guys want. You want more Embered videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.